hello welcome to ss unitech social side and today we are going to see how we can unzip and load the file inside the azure data factory so let me go into the browser and we'll try to see the scenario first so here we are having one of the file under the blob storage under this input container so in this input container we have the file which is this customer details dot zip file so this zip file is having total three files under this let me go and try to show you that as well so this is the zip file let me try to open this so it is having three files first is the customer detail dot csv second is the sales dot csv and third is the image file so these three files it has so what we want to do we want to unzip all these files and the file which is available under this that is these three files we want to load all these under this zipped output container so as of now in this we don't have any file so this is the requirement that we need to do so how we can do that so for that first we need to go into the azure data factory we have to use the copy data activity and copy data activity has enough power to unzip and copy the file from input location to zipped output container so let me quickly add a new pipeline here and let me call this pipeline as zipped now here we can use the copy data activity so we can drag and drop this copy data activity from these activities and minimize this activity so under this activity we can see we need to set up the source and sync so our source is the input container so let me quickly create a new data set under the source so click on new and our file is available under the blob storage so we can search for azure blob storage let me click on continue here we can see the delimited text we can select and click on continue now we can call this data set as data set of zipped and this is for the source now we need to select the link service as we have already created a link service for the blob storage so that is ssu testing we can select that here we can see the file path so we can browse and we can select the file so go to the input folder and here we can select this file and then click on ok so everything is ok here we can see the first row as header if you can go in the file we can check the first row as header so we can mark this as true now we can click on ok so here we have created this data set for the source file and the file which is a zipped file so how we can indicate this is a zipped file so let me click on this open so it will open this data set here in this data set we have the property which is the compression type so what is the compression type so as this is a zipped file so instead of none we have to select this zipped option so this is indicating your file is the zipped file and we have done with the source now we can go into the sync of this copy data activity so in the sync we can create a new data set as your blob storage click on continue delimited text click on continue let me call this as data set sync for the zipped file here we can select the link service so that is ssu testing we want to keep the file under this zipped output so we can select this folder and click on continue first row as header we can mark this as true and click on continue so that's it for the sync location in the source only we are required to make the change on this compression type that's it let me try to execute and we'll see whether the file is going to unzipped and loaded into the output folder or not so let me try to debug it so once it will be executed your file should be copied into the output folder so as we can see this is in progress so it got executed successfully let me quickly go into the folder and try to refresh so here we should see this is the folder path we can click on that this folder this folder is containing these three files so once we will open this file then we should be able to see the data under this so click on edit here we should see the data as we can see similarly for the sales file we can also see the data and verify so under the preview we can see all the data 
here we have the image file so we should be able to see the image so as in the edit we can see this image so we have successfully loaded the file here but remember here we are having this folder and under this folder we have the files but we don't want to keep this folder so let me try to delete it from here first instead of creating a folder and keeping the file under that we want to keep the file directly on the output folder so under this blob storage of the zipped output we want to keep all this file here so how we can do that so let me go here so here under the sync we can see the copy behavior so we have to set the copy behavior here so as of now we can see this none so instead of none we can set the flatten hierarchy so once we are going to set this option your file will be going to copy directly in the output folder let me try to execute it so i can show you that the file name will be going to generate at the run time but the files will be available at the output folder directly so it is in queue so it is executed successfully let me go here and try to refresh so we should be able to see the data here so file names are generating at the run time but the all the data should be under this output folder directly so let me click on edit so this is the image file after that we can see this customer file and this is for the sales file so these three files are loaded directly into the output folder one thing that i also want to tell you go to the here in the azure data factory here go to on the data set of the source so once we are going to use the compression type option then we are also having the compression level so compression level we have two options fastest and optimal so what is the faster and optimal so in case of the fastest it is not concerned on the time your file will be going to zipped or unzipped very quickly without taking the time next for the optimal your file will be unzipped it will be taking care of the size of the file so your size of the file will be less but it might take the more time so if your requirement is on the size then you should go on the optimal option if you want to unzip the file quickly then you can go on the fastest option so this option we can choose as per your requirement so this is all about the unzip and load the file into the another folder from one folder so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video